Okay, another quick video on physics. This is uh, kind of in follow-up to the dominoes one. Um, I'm going to turn the grid on, and I'm going to create a ground. I'll leave the stroke black. So now we've got some ground, and now I'm going to um, just make some little square shapes. So I'm just left-clicking and dragging. Whoops to make some little squares. Since the grid's on, it makes perfect squares. I hit G and copy paste, move it up. Hit G, select both of these, copy paste, move it up. G, copy paste, and maybe one more time. So we get a big tower and copy paste. And we're going to do the same thing that I did in the Domino's um, tutorial. Command A, so it selects everything. Go to and uh, or no scripts, layer effects, and break apart shapes. Uh, leave it def on the default. Hit OK. And it's going to take a little while. I have a lot more uh, vertices points now, so it's going to uh, take a little longer. Um, delete the layer one since there's nothing on it again. And now. Uh, this is what's really cool. Um, let's turn physics on the group layer, on the folder, go down to the last layer, which is our ground, and double click on that. Select physics, non moving object. I'll we'll go back up, and on the top layer, I'm just going to select that because I want this, I'm going to make a bullet. So I'm going to hit vector. And we'll rename this to bullet. And I'm going to turn off the grid, Command G. And now I'm going to, on the bullet layer, I'm going to draw um, a shape, kind of like a rocket or a missile or a bullet or whatever. Scale it down a little bit. And since it's in the physics layer, it's already active, so we can double click in that bullet. Go into physics and in the initial direction, crank that speed up to let's do 20. And it's already going to the uh, right. So let's uh, play that and see what it looks like. It impacts those uh, bricks I've made. Or, but um, say you want to change that um, and play around with the physics. Let's go to frame zero, zoom out, and move this bullet back. Let's see what that looks like. Now, if you want a bigger impact to make it uh, more like a, a bigger impact, let's go to the bullet physics again, go into physics, and let's change the density to 5.5. See if that does anything. See, now it hits those bricks a little harder. And if you want to, you can just play around with all the physics within the, this animation. Instead of messing around with the bullet physics, go into the layer, or I mean the uh, group. And in the physics, let's change the, uh, or no, no, no. What do I want to do here? Gravity magnitude. Let's crank that down a little bit. And I think what this is going to do is make it uh, more like it's in outer space. So these bricks should fly apart like they're in space now. So let's find out. Yeah. Uh, one more time. Physics. Let's crank it down to one. Now they probably should float off like they're in space. Yeah. So there's just some fun stuff to do with physics. I just wanted to post this also so you get some ideas on your animations um, and ways to use physics in them. So that's it.